this video, I'm going to show you the streaming setup if you would like to connect your Monocaster Lite to a mixer, then to a computer. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the cords and cables we will need in this setup. First of all, we will be needing the XLR cable. So that is to connect our condenser microphone to the mixer. And this three cords here, you do not need to have all of them. Even one is good enough to connect your mixer to the monocaster light. But if you are planning to connect also additional external background music source to connect to the mixer, aside from background music coming from the laptop, then you will need at least two of them. Okay, so this first one is the 3.5 mm TRS, the one that has two lines to RCA. And then the second one is, the, this is the audio video RCA to 3.5 mm TRRS, the one that has three lines. And this one here, this is the uh, 6.35 mm TS mono to TRS, the one that has two lines and one line over here. So again, as I mentioned, you do not need to have all of them. If you are not planning of adding or connecting a background music directly to this mixer, then one of these so three chords here, you should be good already. And this one here, the USB type A to USB type C, this is the cord or USB we will be using to connect the monocaster light to this laptop. And of course, I will be uh, using an earphone to monitor the audio. And by the way, this lightning audio adapter here, you do not need this one if, for example, the background music you will be connecting to the mixer, if that is, let's say, an Android phone, you do not need this one because you can connect this cords here directly to the headphone port of that device. But because this device that I will be using later to connect as my, the source of my background music to the mixer doesn't have a headphone port. That's why I always need this lightning audio adapter. And now let's start the connection. First, let's connect the condenser microphone. And by the way, if you want to use a dynamic microphone, you can use it as well. And from here, we'll just use the first one right there. Okay, so one end should go here and then the other end is to this one. And from this three chords here, let's maybe start using this one here. So this is the audio video RCA to 3.5 mm TRRS. So from here, we will not be using the yellow uh, end over here. We will only use the red and white. I will be connecting it to the one that says rec out. Okay, so white to white and red to red. And from here, from the monocaster light, I will be connecting this one the other end a 3.5 mm TRRS to the mic port here. So you just select mic one or two, it doesn't matter. So let's connect it to the one that says mic one. Okay, next is the earphone. I will be connecting it to here, to the one that says output. Okay. And then this one here, the USB type A to type C. There is only one uh, type C port on here, which is this one. So let's uh, connect it there. And then the other end, we simply locate the uh, USB type A port of that laptop, then you should be good to go. Okay, this one, I believe there is one on the side. Okay, there you go. Okay, and now let's turn on the monocaster light. Just hold two to three seconds and it should turn on. Okay, and now from this, uh, laptop here so if you are using a mac like this one now so you go to settings even if you're using a windows so just go to sound settings and make sure your input and output is set to the monocaster light so which means your speaker set your speaker as the monocaster light and your microphone set that as the monocaster light as well so from here just go to settings or you can go up here also go to system preferences and then go to sound and then from here make sure your input is set to mono which is this one and then your output is also set to mono okay that one there okay once it's selected you can go out from there and from here let me turn on this one first 
Okay, let me just show you quickly my settings on this uh, mixer. So I just uh, set my gain to zero and the compressor to nine o'clock. If you are expert or know what you're doing, then feel free to set whatever vocals you wanted to, to achieve. Okay, so this is pretty much your high, mid, and low. So low is more for bass and then high, I believe, is more for treble. And so again, it's up to you, whatever is your preferred settings on here. And this is your effects. So over here, it's like reverberation is on here and on here as well. And my mic volume here, maybe I'll set it at uh, maybe at uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, and now you're ready to go live. So it could be a podcasting or live streaming on whatever platform you are using. So in this uh, setup right now, I will be using uh, Facebook streaming. So of course, when you open your account, you will be able to see something like this. And from here, I'm gonna uh, select this one here, the one that says go live. Okay. And from here, I'm going to select uh, Webcam because I will not be using a streaming uh, software. Okay, I'm just going to select only me. And uh, from here, so just take note on here, even if you already set as your uh, microphone and um, speaker as this monocaster light make sure that from here the one that says uh, for microphone make sure it's set also to the mono because sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, set automatically if it's not then uh, you won't be able to use uh, this microphone on here being connected to the monocaster you'll only be using the built-in microphone of this uh, laptop so again make sure it's set to mono for your microphone over there okay well we are almost ready and it's up to you if you want to add some title I'm just gonna select now go live from here and then so again it's up to you if you want to add a title maybe I will not add a title and then I'm gonna go live okay I'm gonna put on my headset okay there you go almost ready okay there you go I am now on live and by the way, what I will be doing is that I am going to be syncing the audio output from this live streaming to this camera that I'm taking right now. So the video from the other camera that I'm using right now, so that whatever I'm doing, you can hear the actual audio from the streaming. Okay, let me excel from there. Okay, there you go. So right now, whatever you're hearing, this is now the audio output from the live streaming on Facebook. Okay, so as you notice on my settings on this monocaster light, I had set my echo first to zero. Maybe I'm going to set also my effects from this uh, uh, mixer to zero. There you go. So there won't be no effect for now. If the purpose of your live streaming is, uh, let's say, podcasting, not for singing purposes, I suggest select the original that is one of the mode for your vocals. So just that. Uh, Keep tapping this one until it says the original. Okay, it's MC original. So once it's original, it's safe that way because I know for most of the podcasting, you don't need some echo or reverberation to that. So even if you turn the echo from here, there won't be no echo or reverberation as long as you select original. But if it is something else, the other options from here, there will be echo or reverberation. So again, for podcasting purposes, I suggest original mode for your vocals will be uh, selected. Okay, so uh, now if you want to, to uh, let's say if you want to uh, tell some jokes or you want to be funny, you can also, you can for sure use the voice changer from here. Let's say something like that if you want to be a female. Or if you want to be male. Or if you want to be a baby. Okay, there you go. So let's go back to Pro, maybe even if it's on Pro, as long as we uh, set the echo to zero, still there won't be no effects. And the preset sound effects on here, feel free to use them if you need them. Let's say awkward or cheering or laughter or something like that. Now for the denoise button on here, I always suggest to turn this on because you never know. Sometimes um, there is some voices or noises that you do not need. At least the denoise button here helps that to minimize that 
uh, sounds that you do not want to be included in your live streaming. But still, it, it's all up to you. Now, the, uh, the side chain on here, it will only work if the loopback is on. So uh, let me show you what's the use of the loopback on here if you do not know yet. Okay, so that is if the background music is coming from this laptop where we are doing our live streaming. If uh, you are doing a live streaming from your phone, then loop back doesn't matter. Even if it's on or off, it doesn't matter. Okay, now let me play a background music from here. So now the background music is coming from this laptop where we're doing our live streaming. So what it means is that when I play a background music from here, if the loop back is off, I am the only one who can hear that, but not your viewers or your listeners. So if the loop back is off, even if you're playing a background music, you as a host, is the only one who can hear the backing music, not your viewers or listeners. Okay, let me show you. Let me play a song on here. Okay, so right now I'm currently playing it and I am the only one who can hear it. That is because the loop back uh, button here is still off. Now, if I'm going to turn this on, you should be able to hear this one as well. Okay, maybe let's lower the volume. Okay, so now that the loopback is on, you should be able to hear also the background music I am playing. So both you and me are able to hear that background music I'm playing. Okay, let me pause. And by the way, you can control your background music from here. So this music volume knob on here and also from the laptop itself. So there should be some buttons here to, to, to make it louder or lower. And also from this one itself. So there should be some volumes on here that you can adjust okay so let me show you so it's it's right here so you can so you can make it louder or lower okay so let's just okay, move it back something like that okay so again let me play this uh, music on here okay so again look back is on that's why you can hear the music that i am hearing as well and the use of the side chain on here, whatever uh, background music you are playing, the volume of that will go down as you talk and it will pick up the volume of that background music uh, if you stop talking. Okay, so let me play this one again. So again, you can only use the side chain if the loop back is on because the background music that I'm playing right now is coming from the laptop. Okay, let's play this one again. And now you can hear that background music. And now if I am going to turn on the side chain, Okay, sidechain is now on, so as you notice, you can still hear the background music, but it's not as loud as if I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there you go. So again, that is the use of that uh, sidechain. For some music, it will totally remove the, the background music, but for some music, the background music is still there. It only lowers the volume, but it will only pick up the volume of that uh, uh, background music if you stop talking okay so something like that okay let me turn off now the side chain and i'm going to turn off also the look back on here okay look back is off right now as you notice i'm still playing it over there and i'm the only one who can hear it okay let me pause it now okay there you go okay now this phone here i will use this one as a source of my background music so i'll be playing a song from here and i'll connect this one directly to this uh, mixer okay and for that i will use one of the cables on here so this is the rca to trs the one that has two lines on it and as i mentioned earlier because this phone doesn't have a headphone jack on it i will be using this lightning audio adapter if you are let's say using a tablet or another device that has a headphone port simply connect the trs this one here connected to the headphone port and then the other two we will be connecting it to here to the mixer the rca we will be connecting it to here the one that says seven slash eight simply white to white and red to red and this other end we will be connecting to this iphone Okay, there you go. Let's try playing a song uh, from here. And by the way, because uh, this time the background music is directly connected to this mixer, your uh, volume control for that is going to be on here. So the one that says 7 slash 8 on here 
and plus you can also control that from this uh, device itself so just uh, simply locate the uh, uh, volume control of that so something like that and then you can control it from here as well let's try playing it now and let's check first how loud it is okay there you go so again you can control the volume from here something like that because it's uh, turn it to zero or turn it up okay, there you go what i'm trying to point is that whenever the background music is connected elsewhere other than from this laptop where you are doing your live streaming the loopback function on here doesn't matter if it's on or off your viewers or listeners should still be able to hear that background music so in other words you as a host your viewers or listeners are both the can hear the back end music you are playing even if the loop back here is on or off okay let me show you okay let's play this one okay there you go so as you notice loop back is uh, is off and you can still hear that as in viewers or listeners so even if i turn it on or turn it off still the background music is there you can hear it okay so there you go that is uh, the use of uh, that uh, loop back uh, button on here so using a, a mixer is, is an advantage if uh, you have it to connect to your monocaster light because you can connect an external background music directly to the mixer aside from uh, background music connected also to this monocaster light and plus uh, background music coming from this laptop so lots of options if you have the uh, mixer but again if you only have the mixer you can actually do streaming just the mixer alone plus the laptop or just the monocaster alone plus the laptop but if you have mixer plus the monocaster light it's an advantage for you you can you can do more uh, more options so for you if you have both the mixer plus the monocaster light okay and now let me show you if the background music is uh, connected directly to the monocaster light because you can also connect your background music directly to the monocaster light it's up to you if you want to use uh, your TRRS normally when you buy a uh, monocaster light it does comes with uh, two TRRS the one that has uh, three lines on both ends and you can connect that from the music uh, input on here to your device to the headphone port of your device but uh, if the source of your backup music has uh, bluetooth uh, capabilities or if it supports the bluetooth might as well connect it using bluetooth so that it's easier that way you do not need to connect uh, another cord or cable to do that is very simple you simply go to your uh, settings uh, even if you have uh, android or tablet or uh, iphone just go to your settings and go to bluetooth and make sure it's turned on and then uh, find the monocaster light it should be on one on on one of the options here okay so it says here mono auam 200 is connected okay so which means if i play a song from here let's say specifically from youtube it will be connected already over here and if your background music is connected directly to the monocaster light your background music this time is from here so from the volume knob here the one for music plus from this device itself okay let's let's try playing that music again okay there you go okay so again you can control the volume from here or you can also control the volume from here so lower it or if you want to make it louder so something like that okay let's uh, pause this one first okay there you go so that's uh, pretty much uh, the setup if you want to add additional background music coming from elsewhere other than from this laptop and it, again as i showed you it could be connected directly to the mixer or it could be directly connected to the monocaster light and uh, now let me show you if we are going to use the different cord this time so let me uh, just remove this one here okay so as i showed you earlier i connected uh, this uh, cord here so i am going to be removing this one now and then i will use the other cord okay so i'm going to remove this one from mic one and then what i will do is i am going to connect the other cord 
Okay, so this one here, this is the cord this time I'll be using, the one that is 3.5 mm TRS to RCA. So same, I'll connect the other end to here, mic one or two, it doesn't matter. I'll use mic two this time. And then this other RCA end, I will connect this one to same, the one that says rec out, simply white to white and red to red. Okay, there you go. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So this time I am using the different cord, the one that is uh, 3.5 mm TRS, the one that has two lines plus the RCA. So again, RCA is connected to the one that says rec out, and then the other end is connected to the mic port of this uh, mono caster light. So as you notice, audio is like that. And if you want to add some effects on here, so you can see uh, what is the, uh, the audio would be so something like that soundtrack testing one two and uh, by the way the advantage the other advantage if you have uh, connected a mixer to it or if you added a mixer to that is because you can of course control the uh, the uh, effects also from here aside from here so let's say for example you add only a little bit of reverb over there so something like that and then you can you can add some more on here. So there you go. Let's add, add it from here. Soundtrack, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, sound. So it's up to you if uh, whatever settings uh, of your vocals you preferred. Okay, so uh, there you go. That is uh, the audio output uh, with the effects uh, from here and plus a little bit of effects or echo from this monocaster light. Okay, so let me give you a sample. Maybe let's uh, play a karaoke song from here so you can uh, see what is the audio output. If, for example, you wanted to do some uh, karaoke to your, uh, to your viewers or your uh, listeners. Okay, so let's use this uh, karaoke song here that I prepared. Okay, let's, uh, let me just give you a short sample. So remember, because the background music you are playing is coming from the laptop where you are doing your streaming, don't forget to turn on your loopback here, otherwise you'll be seeing a cappella only. Your viewers or listeners will not be able to hear the background music if your loopback here is off, so make sure to turn it on. Okay, now loopback is on. And if you think uh, your background music is uh, too loud, you can also control it from here. So there should be, when you open uh, YouTube here, there should be a volume control also over there. So you can lower it from there as well, something like that. Okay, let's play this one now and let me give you a short sample. Okay, let's pause it from there. Okay, this time, uh, let me show you if the background music is coming from this uh, phone. So again, we already connected this phone to here using a Bluetooth. Again, you can control the volume of your background music this time from here or from this one here. Okay, so let's play that. And then let's uh, turn it up some more from here. But you gave me hope. You made me strong As the days went on You made me live again Okay, let's pause it this time. Okay, and now let me show you if the background music is coming from the mixer. Okay, so what we will do is that we'll use the other cable that we uh, disconnected. So again, we will only be using the uh, red and white, not the yellow one. Okay, so not the yellow one. We will only be using the uh, red and white. So simply white to white and red to red. So again, I connected it to the one that says 7 slash 8. The volume control this time is from here, the one that says 7 slash 8. And again, same as earlier, I will be connecting this lightning audio adapter. Let's uh, play this one again and let me give you a short uh, sample. You were always there to lend a helping hand when good friends are hard to find. 
Okay, there you go. Okay, so uh, let me disconnect uh, this one now. And now let me show you uh, to use the other cord this time. So this time we will be connecting it with uh, uh, this uh, cord here. Okay, so this time we will be removing this uh, cord here. Again, this is 6.35 TS mono to TRS, 3.5 mm. So this time we will be connecting this one to here, the one that says stereo out. And then same as earlier, we will be connecting the other end, the 3.5 mm TRS, to the mic port of this monocaster light. So let's connect it again to the one that says mic 2 port of this monocaster light okay there you go sound check testing one two one two three four so this time i am using a different uh, cord connecting this mixer to the monocaster light so using this cord the 6.35 mm trs mono dual to a 3.5 mm trs so as you notice it is uh, the same it is uh, clear as I showed you earlier, you do not need to have all three of them. As long as you have one of them, then you should be fine. You should be good to go. Okay, so as you notice, I am still using the pro mode vocals on here. So it's up to you if you want to use the other vocal mode as well. Okay, let's uh, test it. Okay, so this is the sound if you use the pop uh, mode. This is the MC. So MC, you can add some reverberation to it. So this is the original, so as I showed you earlier, even if you add some echo to it, your vocals or your audio will still be flat. There is no reverberation, which is good for podcasting that does not need echo or reverberation. Okay, so this is now the pro. This is kind of the default one. So it's, uh, your vocals will be flat if the echo here is at zero. And remember, if you do not want echo or reverberation, Make sure to turn off also your effects from this mixer. Otherwise, even if you turn off already your echo on here, there's still that reverberation or echo because there is echo coming from this mixer. So something like that. So make sure it's off to zero as well as on here if you do not want any echo or reverberation. That's uh, pretty much what I can share for today. Thank you so much guys for uh, watching and if you like this type of videos, uh, please uh, give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.